Hi, right, Shalom, I'm double honest, the apostles of GMS, honestly brothers, I'll be posting this trip in sincerity. Alright, um, it's going to be a quick video, oh I say quick, but it's going it's to be a, a pretty short video. Um, touching on some precepts, and some scriptures, focusing in on the uh, Esau, right? How Esau conducts himself, alright? And how these different nations and these different countries are beginning to see this, that this man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Well, that much further ado, I'm going to go straight into it. So it says, Sudan's president claims CIA and Mossad stands behind ISIS and Boko Haram, which is what we've been telling you, you, you peons, for the longest, man. All right, when we, the minute this thing came out, you know, the men of the Lord perceived it for it to be, and it, the word got out, man. All right, because it's just the same boogie, man, so to speak, that America uses, right? They always, uh, like, the Pearl Harbor thing, all right? Same thing that they did, uh, same, same, uh, a pro, uh, same idea, same uh, uh, a way of doing things that they had when he was going up into Iraq, all right? Going up into Syria, right? And all of that, man. Where, where, where is, where is Al Qaeda gone all of a sudden? Now, now you got ISIS and all that, which is, which is what we've been telling you, you peons, man. These people set up, uh, um, so-called terrorist uh, pro, uh, plots and that, man, so that they can infiltrate whatever, whatever countries that these these so-called terrorists are coming from. All right, and that's what these heathen nations are beginning to see, man. That's why they're angry with, with, with America and all of that, man. And you're going to see in the scriptures, man, they're going to, the, the, the Most High is going to bring them down so low that these different nations are going to be like, man, this is the man that made the world to tremble. All right. This is, this is the devil, man. Because the Most High is going to pull away all of that power that Esau has right now. Because he's got power over weapons and all of that. But there's a power above that, man. And it's the spiritual power, which is the Most High has implied within the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. They're going to wake up to the truth. Right, wake up to knowing that there is lights. Wake up to knowing that the so-called white man is the devil, right? And to wake up to the of which it ain't no white or black thing, man. Right? You got some of our people out there that are Israelites uh, that are among the tests, right? And and they got some people that look like us, right? Dark skin and all that. That are actually tests, man. Right? And that's why you have the parable in the book of Matthew, the thirteenth chapter, that talks about separating the wheat, the wheat from the tests, man. And doth not the scripture say in Matthew's the ninth chapter and the ninth, uh, rather more Amos the ninth chapter and the ninth verse, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel as corn is sifted in the sieve, man. Meaning to say, man, going back to uh, the curses that are um, illustrated in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, right, how we was going to be uh, uh, dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth, right, starting off with, um, you know, by us going off on the Lord's test commandments. And then he, the most I set up Esau, right, under the name of the Greeks, the Romans, to come in, come, come into come into the land of Israel, to where we had to leave, man. All right? To where to where we, we fled, man, from Roman persecution, man. Right? During the times of um, your house, it was the same thing, but they, read, they fled up into the interiors of Africa because it was like skinned uh, people, man. Uh, like, like, as, uh, like as in similar, man. It was people that they could be, uh, 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 they could, they could, they could be in disguise behind, man. So you can't easily find them. But hey, we got different spirits, man. So we wasn't all up into them hermetic, you know, the hermetic way of life, so to speak, man. Like, like polite, what have you believe, man? You go out there in Africa, you ain't gonna like what they, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna vibe like how they vibe, man. Right, circumcising the women, right, eating, eating doo doo, whatever these heathen nations, these hermetic nations do. So. Naturally, we would have, we would have, um, we, just like how Jake does right now, man, we would have gravitated to our own people, right? And after we had uh, gravitated to our own people, it would have been easy to identify who the Israelites are. And that's how we went back into, um, back into slavery by way of slave ships when them, um, when them, uh, when the British came over and the Americans came over during the, the transatlantic slave trade, man. Right, that's why they could distinct between who's who, but really, man, it all goes back to the you know, all goes back to the spirit that the Lord set forth from the foundations of the earth and how he wanted this program to go down, man. Alright. So it says Sudan's president claims the CIA and Mossad stand behind ISIS and Boko Haram, right? And I ain't gonna really read more about that before I need to get into the scriptures, but just to give you the background information, I'll read into it. So it says so, uh, uh, Sudan's president has claimed the CIA 
right, American intelligence agency, and Israel's Mossad um, are behind the uh, Islam Islamist militant groups Boko Haram and ISIS, right, which we've been telling you from the longest. All right, it says Omar Al Bashir used an interview in uh, with uh, Euronews to claim that there was a connection between American and Israeli intelligence organization and both ex uh, uh, Israeli intelligence organizations and both extremist groups. All right, it says he spoke after ISIS released a video of uh, purport purporting to show the beheading of 21 uh, Coptic Christians in Libya, an act that prompted Egypt to respond with airstrikes and avenging the massacre. All right. That's pretty much all I'm gonna get into, man. I don't need to get all up into you know how he brought that, whatever, whatever he's gonna, you know, he's gonna read over there, right? I'm gonna get into the scriptures, but you can see, man, these heathen nations, man, they're seeing the, the devil for what the devil is, man, a liar, right? A deceiver. That's what the word devil means, man. It's 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 it's, it's to deceive, all right? That's what the devil does. But now, what I wanted to put in into you, in, into whoever sees this, right? What I, what I wanted to put into your brother's mind is. Is uh, you gotta you gotta think, man, because Esau sets these um these different nations up, right? Not these di different nations, like these different um these different groups together, right? ISIS, Al Qaeda, and all of that, and pays them to do the bidding of the devil, right? And what do these different groups do, man? They're out there beheading people, right? They they out there bombing people and all that death, man. That's what Esau's about. So Esau will pay someone. Right to go instigate death amongst the different nations, man. And that's the kind of man you're dealing with. That's the that's the kind of man that's in power right now, man. Right? How much more so does he need to be destroyed, man? All right. Let me get into some scriptures real quick, and then um, pretty much close close out. All right? Because this is a quick, nice, quick one. You can see this man. You know his devilish ways are beginning to get revealed and all of that, man. All right? Meaning we're that much closer to the destruction of this kingdom. Right, and the you know the the, the uplifting of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Right, and I ain't, I'm not gonna put them up on the script uh, on the screen today. I'm gonna just read it straight here from the uh, from from uh, from the uh, from the Bible right here. So if you wanna take notes, this will be an opportune time to get a pen and paper. All right, and uh, I break it down to the best of my ability. So I'm gonna start off in Micah the second chapter on the first verse. Right. All right. So this is the, the book of Micah, second chapter, on the first verse, and says, "Woe unto them! Woe means meaning destruction, to them that devise iniquity, right, and work evil upon their beds, man." So, so you're seeing that these different nations are beginning to see that Esau is the creator of this wickedness, man. All right. Of which, man, really, to hell with these different heathen nations, right? But they, really, there are heathen nations, man. There are there there are subjects, man. That's our property, really. When you when you get into uh, when you get into the understanding of the scriptures, man. Doth not the scriptures say, if the word be made for our sakes, why we do we not possess an inheritance? Doesn't Esau possess an inheritance within these kingdoms? Them different rough, rough child children, man. They 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 own people, man. Their inheritance is to own people, man. right? So, but that was our birthright, right? Going back to Jacob and Esau. So it says, and what evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand, right? It says, and they covet fields, right? Doesn't this man covet fields, man? Right? He looks at these different nations and their resources. He sets up uh, uh, um, agent provocateurs within those different nations and organizations so that they can get those fields that he covets, man. And he ain't just talking, he's not talking about field in the literal sense. He's talking about, you know, that whole land and what that land produces. Because when you think of a field, what do you think of, man? You think about crops. Corn, man, resources, in other words, right? He says, and take them by violence. And that's that's what you're seeing here, man, right? Esau takes them by violence, but he's not mad enough to say to, 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 to take it, right? And he's so wicked, he'll set someone else up to take it for him, man, right? And then he'll probably kill off these different heathens that he set up, man. See, that's it. I mean, going back into what I'm, I'm, I'm remembering uh, um, a movie right now, and it's, you know, it's a kind of book movie, right? But... You know, the the point was illustrated, man. That movie, the Transformers, man. All right, and when you had um, when you had the Transformers, the, the dark side of the moon, man, and you had a, a Megatron, right? 
and you had the 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 the, the agent provocateurs wait working for the so-called uh, um the so-called wicked uh, uh, transformers, man, right? And 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 the human said, man, we're safe, man. They told us we're safe, but guess what, man? You ain't gonna be safe in that day, man. You ain't gonna be safe. See, Esau's not made a pact. You made you made a pact with the devil, man. You made a pact with the deceiver, and in so doing, he's gonna deceive you, man. Right? Doesn't the scripture speak speak about uh, 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 um, uh, ch uh, um, snake charming, man? Charming never so wisely, man. You're gonna get bit, man. And that's what the devil's gonna do to these different nations, and really that, and that also goes into the people of our own, within the circle of Israel, within within who know that it's the twelve, who know that they're Israelites, talking about Nate, Blue, and all of that, man. That know that they're Israelites, but they don't sold out to the so-called man, man. They sold out to the devil, man. He's gonna forget about you when he's ready to make his move, man. And he ain't just, you know what? Really, forget about you. It's too late. For what? He's gonna kill you, man. Right? Because just you're now, you now then become useless. Your objective which was to, to, to deceive the masses, right, by your own works, right, will become a, a redundant, man, right, and what happens when you become redundant, you get, get rid of, man, all right, so it says there, they cover the fields, right, and take them away, right, so they oppress a man, even a man, man even, even, uh, so that they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage, Right, and we go to the book of Je uh, uh, Jeremiah, the 14th, 17th chapter, and the fourth verse. It says, "Thou shalt discontinue from thy heritage, right, that thou get that that, that that I gave thee, man." And when we discontinue from our heritage, who, who took our heritage, man? Esau, man. Right, the devil. Right, he deceived the whole world to believe to to, to them believing that he's the real Jews, man. Right. Now, um, it says. Uh, therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I'm against this family do I devise, devise an evil, right? And when you go into the understanding, man, right, of these scriptures, man, it, it talks about Esau as a family and how that whole group of people, that family is going to be wiped off the face of the earth, man. They're going to be bound and burnt, man. Right, going back into the parable of the tears, it says, the rest of them, that, that shall be, uh, the rest of them, but right, you're going you're gonna to bind them together and you're going to burn it, man. All right? It says, uh, divide, do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, right? Neither shall uh, ye, go, uh, ye go haughtily, for this time is evil, right? I'm going to jump into the next piece. This is in the book of Job 12, chapter. I'd uh, rather more Job the 20th chapter on the 12th verse. Um, right, it says there, right? In fact, I'll start from, I'll start from the 11th verse, right? It says this is Job twenty and eleven. He says his bones are full of his of the sin of his youth. Going back to Je uh, going back to um, uh, Cain and Abel, of which Cain killed Abel. He was and it began he, he began to be the, he, he became the first murderer. Man. He was the first person to do to do wickedness on the earth, man. Really, right? He was the first murderer, the first liar, right? And the first person to do wickedness in the sense that he didn't uh, he didn't give a proper and the appropriate um, sacrifice, man. All right. So it says there, um, his, his bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Right? So it's though his though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it. So when, you, when you're up in these jobs and you, you're, you're getting interviewed or, and you're speaking to these Edomites, man, and these devils, man, they're going to pretend like they like you, man, right? And it's going to be all right. But hey, man, when the time comes when there ain't, ain't no food out there, right? When when when, when uh, uh, water, there's water shortages out there and there's race rights and all of that, man. So, you know, like the race rights so it's spoken about in the Mark, the Book of Mount, the thirteenth chapter, and the eighth verse, man. You're gonna realize that this man is not, he's not your friend, man. He's your enemy, man. And you're gonna realize furthermore, you're gonna realize really that the, the two thirds, man, the two thirds that we so we we so fervently despise, man. They're not your friends, neither, man. They're the enemy. When you go into the scripture, the Most High said, "Ye are of your father, the devil, man, and last of your father, what you will do, man." So just like how the devil's gonna be in that day, man, that's just how these niggas is gonna be in that day, man. Right? They're gonna be about self, man. They're gonna be destroyed, man, and they're gonna destroy each other. Some of them is gonna go into captivity uh, 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 in, in, by way of those uh, that martial law, man, and them uh, um, and them uh, what do you call it in concentration camps, man. Right, but it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna, it's gonna be sweet. We're going because we're gonna see the prophecies of the Lord being fulfilled, man. Notwithstanding, hey, some man's faith might be tested to where you can, you might have to go through that, man. 
right? But if you're of the elect, you know, you do what you gotta do, man. All right. It says, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it, right under his tongue, though his spirit and forsake it, he keep it, but he keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat and his body is turned into the gulls act within him. He has swallowed down riches and shall vomit them up. And the Most High shall cast them out of his belly. Right. So the Most High is going to have it to where you know, we're going to we're going to inherit our our uh, the riches that we were supposed to have that Esau has violently stolen and illegitimately 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 gotten, man. So like you know, my words are slipping me a little bit. Uh, today but hopefully um hopefully the the message is portrayed all right so this is in the book of uh, isaiah 14 chapter on the 12th verse right now all right and the whole book of the four, the 14th verse is nice the 14th chapter is a, is a good book to read man it says how about falling down from heaven Lord lucifer son of the morning how about that cut down to the ground which did this week in the nations for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven and I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. He says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the Most, the most High. So that's how Esau's spirit is, man. All right? He wants to be power. He wants to have power over life and death. All right? Who gets to do this, that, and the third, man? That's Esau's spirit. Right, but the Most High is gonna destroy him. He's gonna wipe him off the face of the earth, man. As you gonna see right here. Not only is he gonna do that, man. I'm going back into the book of, Pro uh, book of Proverbs, right? I believe it. It might be the 16th chapter on the fourth verse, where it talks about uh, pride growth before destruction. All right, the Most High is gonna remove that pride from him. He's gonna be brought down to a lower state, and then he's gonna be, you know, destroyed and wiped off the face of the earth, man, forever and ever. Right? It says. Uh, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, right? And it ain't talking about no, um, it ain't talking about no, you know, a place where that that burns for fire forever and ever. That would make the most high unjust. All right, the scripture says when you come back on the second and third generation, you serve your you, you serve your judgment. So some of some of us, you come back on the third generation, you serving your punishment, man. That's why we're in our lowest estate right now, man, because we was wicked in the in the four times, man. Going free, you know, going back six genera six generations, man. We was keep living like kings, man. Six generations, you know, more more like more like more like you know, uh, uh, more like more like nine generations. You're know, going back nine generations. We was sitting up in, as kings up out there in um uh, out there in in Europe, right? Under the under the name of the Moors and all of that, man. We was kings, man. We was living large, right? Land. Right, cattle, slaves, women, right? It says it, um, um, yet shalt thou shalt be brought down to the to the hell, to the science of the pit. So, when he's talking about hell, there ain't talking about hell as in some fiery place, man. He's talking about, he's talking about uh, uh, being brought down to a, 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 like us, we're living our hell right now, right? It doesn't get much worse than this, seeing your children. You know, if you got children, your children live in this wicked society, man. And nine times out of ten, they're going to grow up wicked as well. That's painful, man. Right? Knowing that you can't do nothing about it because it all goes back to the scriptures, man. Doth not the scriptures say, man, as for my people, women are there, uh, uh, women rule over them and children are there, are oppressors, man. I mean, that scripture, all in its own, that goes to, tell, that goes to show you who the Israelites are, man. But these so-called Jews, got it, they, they got their women in order, man. But Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man, their women rule over them, man. All right, it says there, uh, um, um, yet uh, and it says, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit, and they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? And this goes to show you that this wasn't talking about no devil or no spiritual entity, it's actually talking about a man that made the world, the, the earth to tremble and did shake nations, did shake kingdoms, right? And that's how he's shaking kingdom right here, using you know, using agent provocateurs or. Or, or, or uh, himself, all right, and he'll go there as himself way after that. You can identify who's who's right or wrong, man. All right, so he goes in there and he sets his own his own people up to destroy, to do the, the, the to instigate the, the trouble, all right. And then after that, he goes in there as if to say he's, he's gonna uh, destroy the people that he's uh, 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 he set up. No, he goes in there, he rapes, robs, and murders, man. All right, hopefully, you know, the point is getting out there. Right, it says, um, he, 
it, um, is this the man that made the nations tremble and didn't shake nations, right? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed cities that often opened up the house of the prison. So that's Esau straight up, man. That's Esau straight up, man. All right. And we'll just hit one more, um, one more precept real quick, right? And I'll we'll go to the uh, the book of Psalms, the ninety fourth chapter. Right, it says, "O oh, oh Lord, power to whom vengeance belongeth." Right, O oh, oh, oh power to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. All right. So when people talk about the Most High is all love and all of that, man, the Most High is about vengeance, man. He's about getting his, man. Right, he's about get, getting right, man. Right, when you go into the scriptures, it's, it, it specifically says, man, um, it's a righteous thing with the most side to, uh, um, it's, a, it, it, it's a righteous thing with the most side to recompense them that trouble you, man. So the most side is all about vengeance. All right, it says, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. And what's that reward, man? You saw it in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, where the most side is going to bring Esau down to the ground, man. He's going to take that pride away from him, man. He's going to be in hell. Why? Because he's going to be serving a thousand years of hardcore captivity, hardcore slavery, man. Right? Hardcore bondage, man. Right? Under the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. Going back into the Isaiah 14th chapter and the first verse, it tells you about how we're going to rule over our oppressors, man. Right? And that's a beautiful thing. Right? It says, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, and render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked... How long shall the wicked triumph? And that's the spirit you're supposed to be, man. You're supposed to be. I mean, how long how long are we going to serve this fucking devil, man? All right? How long are we going to go go back and forth, coming home tired, man? Barely able to do much, man. But, you know, we're in the spirit, man. So you, you make time, you get the energy, man. You know, when you go into the scriptures, the most I said they're going to run, right? And they ain't, they ain't going to they ain't gonna run 